I'm not going to play the blame game in this. And not going to be bitter about this or salty. I mean, take the win, Redskins. Take it. Take it. Cherish it. Hug it. Let me know where it gets you. Oh, wait, that's a salty comment. You're salty that you lost. Um, good. Um, good on you, Redskins. Congratulations. You won a game. Um, God, I just I had so many thoughts going through my mind before this game ended about how bad I'm going to tear apart Chip Kelly for cutting to Sean Jackson and then watching him take an 80-yard bomb in this game and... You know, I'm not even going to let any of that cloud what what I feel is the bigger part of this game that should be just have the light shone on it. And that is this Eagles team fought. I, I mean, I, I don't care if people want to say I sound like a homer or that, you know, we got to pick on the flaws, the cost of this game and all this shit and a... And a, a, a timeout that was called by the Redskins two seconds after the play clock ran down. I Whatever. Whatever. But this team fought, man. And after what I saw last week and the previous weeks, it was good to see effort. It was good to see effort and that there is a heart in the core of this team that can show up and play against cheap shots, against adversity, and against a better team. And against a better team, because the better team won today. And that's the thing, the Redskins are a better team right now than the Eagles, bottom line. And they fought tooth and nail with them and just lost the game. Just lost the game by that much. And I can only be so upset about that. I can only be so upset about that. My confidence is re-restored, if that's a word, in Carson Wentz. I know he didn't do enough to win this game. But man, you see what he has to work with. The line he has in front of him and all that shit. And you see the toughness in the pocket. The elusiveness he showed at times. Yeah, he floated some passes still and all that, but man, I still see the potential is there. And I am happy. I am still happy to have and know that he is the future. The future of this team. It sucks to lose. It sucks to get swept by the Redskins. And I ain't going to say like, oh, oh, well, we'll do better next year and all that shit. I ain't going to just lean back on that. Because I'll admit, it fucking sucks to get swept by the Redskins again. It sucks that we have a game where only in Philadelphia can your long snapper and backup long snapper get injured in a game. Oh my god. And... We had a... We had a... Uh... You had a field goal that was missed basically because your your backup backup long snapper snaps it into the turf and then in that final drive you could have been going for a game leading touchdown instead of being only five points down you would have been up one if six points was the difference in taking the lead. So I mean what can you do? Luck wasn't on our side. Injuries are a part of the game. A better team won the football game today, and we had a player that was cut from our team by a dysfunctional piece of shit coach that deserves to get fired by the team that he's coaching for this season. I don't know how you're putting up with that shit in San Francisco. I'm sorry, if I can delve into another team right now, how the fuck are you going to put up with that shit? San Francisco has never had a double-digit losing record, a losing streak in their in the hand, franchise hit. Ah, uh, fuck it. Why am I getting on Chip Kelly, man? I'm sorry. I'm just frustrated by a number of things. 
But man, this Eagles team showed heart. And there's so much crap on this Eagles team. And they still showed heart in this game. I'm sorry, Redskins fans. If you want me to bow down and kiss your feet in this game, you ain't getting that in this video. You ain't getting that. Take the W. We'll take the L. And I'm going to take this in the next season. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm going positive in the next season, guys. I'm going positive in the next season. This season is done. It's time to get some backups on the field. And, well, we're going to have to have a backup because Sproles took a cheap shot to the mouth. And some motherfucker popped off to me uh, on Twitter saying, like, that wasn't cheap. Sproles is just short as fuck. Motherfucker, Sproles didn't even have the ball yet. Sproles didn't even have the ball yet. Anyways, um, good on you, Redskins. Congratulations. Let me know where this victory takes you. Probably to the same spot that it's that the Eagles season is going to take them. Have a good day. Fuck Chip Kelly and fuck the Dallas Cowboys. That is all.